Hey everyone out there, I was, hope everything's going well for you guys. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I've had some people comment on some of my detail painting, so I just thought I would uh, show you some of it and maybe give you a couple tips and tricks that I use whenever I'm doing detail painting. I think one of the biggest things for me is that I make sure I'm not tired or stressed I guess you might say um, I always find that you know I get a little rushed or a little impatient when I am sometimes I gotta just get up and take a break that's a big thing for me with detail painting too is I might paint a little bit even though I want to get a whole bunch done um, I'm, I'll paint for a little bit and then I'll get up and take a break and do something else kind of as a stress reliever not to um, get too impatient I want to show you a couple things here. You can see a firewall that I have here on a Chevelle, a grill, some of the the wheels and tires that I'm working on currently. Um, another thing that I always avoid when I'm painting is caffeine. I, I, caffeine doesn't bother me a whole lot, but it does give me enough of the jitters, not that you can see it in my hand, but that it will affect small detail painting enough that it'll knock you off of what you're trying to do the small parts especially on this firewall I'll show you some of the smaller parts let it get um, focused in here on that and show you some of the smaller parts there like the little clips holding the wires around the master cylinder and the windshield wiper um, so I always avoid caffeine at pretty much all costs on the days that I'm doing detail painting whatsoever until I'm done. You can see the grill here. Uh, I have the insert painted. This is all molded one piece but I took the flat black and you just kind of have to you have to go slow with it. Um, steady hand wins out. There's a couple different techniques like for instance over here where the the cables go across what I would call the ignition box or maybe the heater box over here but there's a couple cables that go over that. There's a couple different ways you can do it. One is this one I actually painted black and then I come back and painted all the items on top, the silver items and the red. I painted those afterwards but there are a couple ways and then went back over and with this I used a technique where I painted the red and the paint actually moved away from the these because of it being raised which is pretty standard on styrene I'm sure you guys are familiar with it but one way you can do is you can try to paint those black and then paint the red around it or you can paint it red and then come back and wipe off the red on the raised and I don't I use a lot of toothpicks to detail parts um, scraping any paint that might get over the edge I'll use a, a toothpick to wipe away so toothpicks are great they're cheap you know, you can throw them away, you can let the paint dry, you can clean them off, whatever you want to do with them, it's up to you. But they're great. So, you know, and you can get them, the tips, you'll learn as the tips go, um, you know, they'll start to wear away, you know, they'll fray or whatever. Um, you can throw them away or you can use them for different stages in that. Another area that I'll show you is like on these wheels here. And the inset is painted black. And as you can see, the lug nuts in here are still chrome. And a lot of people, what I did with this is at first, when I first started to do a couple of these, I worked on just detailing, doing real fine. I used like a 10-0 brush and putting the paint in there and trying to stay away from the hubcap but what I, or the lug nut. But what I actually found was to just paint that whole thing black. And if I get any on the lug nut, come back and wipe it off of the lug nut. Um, and that made it a whole lot easier there. It didn't take near the time once I figured that out to wipe it off of that lug nut but the lug nuts as you can see I'm trying to get that focused in there as you can see the lug nuts are clean and it doesn't look like there's any paint and there might be some around the edges of the lug nuts but you can't really see that or tell so so that's some of the tips that I use um, like I said I avoid caffeine at pretty much all costs um, to try to and that's just me personally so if you like caffeine and you want to drink the monsters or Red Bulls or whatever for the energy just to keep going that's completely up to you but you might try whenever you're doing detail paint and staying away from it making sure you're fresh and not tired and worn out you don't have a lot of stress going on 
you know, maybe if you just had something going on with the girlfriend, spouse, kids, something like that, work, um, life in general, you know, maybe this is your stress reliever, but right when that stress level is high, you come in to, you know, wait till your, your stress is relieved a little bit to try to do that. And I think you might find these tips helpful. Um, as always, you guys click that like. Um, you guys feel free to rate this. Leave any feedback, any comments that you have for feedback. I'd love to have them. Maybe you guys got some other tips for detail painting um, that I didn't show here. Um, but, you know, like, and just just to follow up on that, um, like if I was painting these lines that are going through here, if I was going to create them silver, which I didn't on these because it's black and a lot of the hoses are black but but like i said you could paint those silver first then you come back with the black and you could wipe off the black off of that with toothpick or you know q-tip whatever you're comfortable with so that's just a couple of techniques i use i uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day once again this is plays with trucks with trucks customs shop and uh keep modeling and, and hopefully you guys have a lot of plastic to work on and keep the videos coming thank you